this is Sam with Practically Posh Life. Welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I am here today to bring you what is in my kids' stockings this year. So if you are new to this channel, I have two little girls, ages five, almost six. So for purposes of this video, we're going to call her six since she turned six two weeks before Christmas and a four-year-old. Um, so as I do every year, I will be showing you the items that are going to be going in their stockings this year. If you have not already, please check out what uh, I got my kids for Christmas. I will put it in the iCard above for you to check it out. And thank you guys so much for those of you who have watched it and offered different suggestions, feedback. Uh, I love reading your comments and I really appreciate all of you who have taken the time to watch the video. Um, so without further ado, let's jump into the kids' stockings. If you have watched my videos in the past, then you already know what the stockings are. Here are the stockings and they are already hung. Um, happy December. Um, they are the Pottery Barn stockings. Um, they, we've had them for years, probably about four or five years now since my daughter was um, one, uh, my oldest. So probably about five years now we've had these stockings and we're gonna have them forever. <laughs> so I love them um, and they're a great size and they're very durable and five years running and they still look brand new. So great investment and I can't say enough about the Pottery Barn um, stockings. So that's what we'll be filling up this year and I will show you what is in them. Let's start with my oldest, uh, the six-year-old. <clears throat> so some of the things that are unique to her, she's in kindergarten this year, and so I got her a lot of things that um, go with reading. She loves to read. Um, so some of the things I got her were this really cool little reading light, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a little cat reading light, and you clip it to the page, and it, it's flexible and bends. I'll insert a picture. And then I also have this reading timer. Uh, part of her homework each day is to read 20 minutes a day. Um, she does that great on her own, but I thought this would be a cool bookmark slash timer for her. Then I also got her this Calico Critter blind bag. She claims she's into Calico Critters. This is a new thing. So I thought rather than spending a bunch of money on Calico Critters, I'd start with this little blind bag. And this is the birthday party series, just to see what she does with it. Then I also got her a Jojo bow. These things are expensive, y'all. <laughs> I got this from Justice, and I'm not even gonna tell you how much it was. They were two for 20, but by itself, it was like $16.99. What in the world this'll be? So I got the two for 20, but this'll be her, those'll be her only two Jojo bows. The other one she's getting for her birthday. Um, this little Frozen 2 Lego set. She is really into Legos. She did Lego Club at school this trimester um, and really enjoyed it. So I thought that we would continue on to foster that Lego passion of hers with a Disney Frozen 2 Lego set. And this was about three or four dollars. And then this is the Scrubby Scribbles. Scribble Scrubby from Crayola. They come in big sets and I thought they're pretty cool so let me try this as a stocking stuffer to see how they like it uh, and then if they like it for future holidays then maybe they'll get the bigger set and it comes with the little animal, two markers to color and then a little scrub brush in there for you to scrub it clean. So that is um, what else is in her stocking and then wouldn't be a holiday without LOL so I got an LOL boys ball. They don't have any of the LOL boys and I don't even think they know that they exist so I think they're going to be really excited to get an LOL boys. So they have that and I'm sorry y'all I'm battling a cold so if I sound a little off that is why. For the stuffy this year she's got a Pete the Cat and he's wearing I Love Pizza and to go with the Pete the Cat theme she's also going to be getting Pete the Cat Giant Groovy Book. And I like this because it's a hardcover book, it fits in the stocking, and it has, um, I think, nine books, and they're all of the I Can Read books all in one. So all of the I Can Read level ones and my first are in here. So I'm really excited about that. She loves Pete the Cat, and these are all stories we don't already have, so she'll be excited to read them. And then she also likes to tell jokes. So I thought this was a cute little book of Get the Giggle and it's a level one reader book with just jokes that she can tell us that have punchlines and I thought she'd really like it. It's colorful uh, and it was just a couple of bucks on Amazon. So uh, it was $3.99. So this is a cute little book that is also gonna be going her stocking so that she can tell us some more jokes. And hopefully these actually will make sense because some of her jokes today do not. So this will help with that. Um, so that's everything that's going in her stocking. And now for my four-year-old, a lot of the things are the same or similar, but slightly different. So she's also getting a Calico Critters blind bag. She's also getting the Crayola Scrubby Scribbles. 
she is um, going to be getting some Jojo Siwa socks. And I don't know if I showed you that for my older one, but she's getting that as well. She is also getting an LOL boys ball. And um, for treats, they're both going to be getting these frozen jelly beans that I got at Target at the like Christmassy stocking stuffer section. She's going to be getting this frozen lip smacker set, also from the um, Target stocking stuffer section. Instead of Legos, she's going to get this squishy frozen to make your own necklace. She has JoJo bows, but she, um, based on her hairstyles, I thought the little ones would make more sense. The big bows were not going to make as much sense for uh, the length of her hair. So this made more sense. So this comes with, I think, eight JoJo bows. Yeah, about eight JoJo bows. And I got this on Amazon for, I think, like eight or nine dollars. So much better deal than the big JoJo bows. But I think she'll like it. She got the pigeon books and she absolutely loves Mo Willems and the pigeon stories. So this is just a book of three and it's got Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, The Pigeon Finds a Hot Dog, and Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. And they are all hardbound books that I think she's going to love. And to go with that, her stuffed animal is going to be this pigeon. And I love this pigeon because... It screams, let me drive the bus, which she loves pigeons. So she's going to love these two things. Um, so, so that is everything my kids are getting in their stocking this year. I'm really excited. I think that I got quality items that they will enjoy and a lot less knickknack items. Um, we just have enough knickknacks lying around the house, so I did not want to go that route. Um, so hopefully this inspired you. If you want to see what the stockings actually look like stuffed, I did take a moment to put everything in them. So this is my older daughter Adriana's stocking and Pete the Cat will be sticking out at the top. And then this is Isabel's stocking and um, her little pigeon will be sticking out the top of her stocking. And those LOL balls, uh, I always put those at the toe, kind of like this generation's version of an orange, just a really expensive orange <laughs> that's not consumable. Um, but LOLs make perfect toes and then I just stick the bigger items in first. But that's what the stockings looked like filled. And again, hopefully this video inspired you. If you've not already checked out my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, please check that out. And feel free to like and subscribe as I do have some more holiday videos including What I Almost Got My Kids For Christmas and What Is In My Kids Christmas Eve Box. So I look forward to filming those videos and showing those to you throughout the month of December. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.